Ooh. Well, Chavez, Slovakia, I'm sorry. One, one second. Hello, internet girlfriend. How are you doing today? You're looking the same. Should I bother putting on like a fake mouth on it? Or or is this good enough? Should we like fake? Hi, hi Chavez. How, how are you doing? Stop assaulting my fake girlfriend. She already died last time. Yes, kitten, stop being a bitch. Oh, she said, oh, oh, they scrap it. Oh, they scrap it. Oh, oh, they got hands. Oh, they got hands. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kitten, you suck, bitch. Oh, she talking that shit. Oh, oh my God. She done knocked that bitch out with George, nigga. She done hit that bitch with George. Well, this is nothing to do with anything. Java Slovakia. It was worth all the time it took to do that. <laughs> Our humans OP from the tier zoo. Okay, for whatever reason, y'all just said fuck the animals, which are really cool animals, which I thought where we were going with this. Y'all want to know about people immediately, but that's fine. So here we go. Our humans OP from tier zoo. Let's figure it out, man. Play. This Let's episode this. was sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> <laughs> Human beings. Are they as overpowered as the game's community would lead you to believe? Short answer, yeah. Okay. They're the most meta-defining build of all time, and the undisputed top build in the current expansion. Really? But believe it or not, this wasn't always the case. Humans used to get bodied left and right Ooh. on a daily basis by other players. And it took a pretty long time before the player base learned how to actually make use <laughs> of human build's unique abilities. The story of the human's Hunter rise two. to dominance is a really interesting one. And so today, God, we're gonna do an in-depth look at the humans' abilities, their strengths, and their weaknesses. <laughs> this old-ass troll used to just tell people if you write your password backwards, it automatically bleeps it out, you know, with asterisk marks, and then people just fucking type in their password backwards, and it, it never gets old. Somebody always falls Because yes, they shit. do have weaknesses. Nigga. We'll also go over notable matchups, ah! and finally look at the steps human players took in order to reach their dominant status. First, their unique abilities. I touched on this topic in my video about primates, but I'll recap Which here we'll and also go into more detail. No First off the bat, we have their ability to throw things. Other builds can throw things, Ooh. but humans can do so harder, faster, and further than anyone else. Really? The reason for this is their body structure. <laughs> Bipedal builds are tough to balance, <laughs> both in the game development sense and the center of mass sense. Throwing an item with any real force behind it requires serious balance, achieved ah. only by having shorter arms and longer legs. This is why humans can launch projectiles at deadly speeds, whereas other primates kind of just lob things without putting much effort into it. Oh. If they tried to, they would knock themselves over. I got Even it. if chimpanzees could figure out how to craft a spear, there's no way they could throw it hard yeah. enough to deal any significant damage. Next, their stamina regeneration. Humans can chase down anything. If you try to run from a human, you might outspeed them initially, but you'll run out of stamina much sooner than they will, and they'll catch really? up to you while you're in your weakened state. This is partially because of their superior balance again, but mostly it's because of the human build's unique choice to not spec into fur. This gives them access <laughs> to the extremely broken ability Sweat. <laughs> this guy deals with demonetization too, that's how you know it's a fucking cancer. Bro. Every other current build that's decent at distance running recharges stamina by using the move Pant. This works great, but it does require the user to stop running. Sweat, on the other hand, works better while moving, massively extending the distance a human player can run. They've got a few other important abilities that are essential to their kit, but aren't unique to humans. Their ability to speak is unique among mammals, but some birds can pull it off too. Right. In humans, the ability to speak allows them to use one of their signature moves, Teach, which drastically boosts <laughs> skill point gain, mitigating the main penalty a player receives upon getting a game over. Oh, humans that's and right. birds also share another unique trait, which is being able to stand upright. Standing upright is extremely useful for dealing with stealth builds that might normally be using tall grass to hide. Tool use oh, also might be thought of as a human-exclusive move, and it certainly it's... is the most effective in humans. But it turns out a pretty wide array of other builds can also do it. Birds, primates, cephalopods, and even fish can use tools on occasion. But sweating and throwing? Uniquely human. Now yeah. onto their weaknesses. And yes, it's true that currently most human players can subvert these with their crafting skill. But it's important to recognize that without equipment, the human build isn't necessarily unstoppable. The decision to not have fur granted humans a massive buff to mobility at the cost of stealth. 
In the Mammal faction, fur is a prerequisite to all the major stealth abilities like camouflage. And lack of stealth abilities means getting in close on their targets is a serious challenge. Right. The human build's lack of fur also means they have very low defense, both from physical attacks Ooh. and from environmental effects. Ooh. Bear skin offers almost zero oh, armor, to Lord. the point where even players from lower weight classes have no trouble dealing damage to humans. Right, that's what I was saying too though. We are so vulnerable to literally everything. Anything can fuck us up. People are scared of dogs for no reason, bro. And bear skin also takes quite a bit of damage from the sun, too. Yeah. Humans are also pretty limited when it comes to the power stat. Physically, they're the weakest of the great apes, and don't really have any good options for dealing damage. Eh, oh, they lack damn. the classic high damage bite attack that nearly every other non-herbivorous build relies on, instead having to resort to blunt attacks like punch and kick which we all know aren't very effective against builds that have thick yeah, fur or skin. Exactly. The last major weakness I can see is that they're pretty bad at dealing with stealth. The lack of night vision means darkness can really hamper their ability to locate targets. And their lack of a strong sense of smell means camouflage is especially useful against them. Okay, now let's talk about matchups. Obviously a key feature of the human build is being able to craft equipment. Given basic equipment like low-level armor and hunting gear, the human's best matchup is going to be medium-large mammals. Oh, really? Unlike blunt damage, piercing damage is quite effective versus builds with thick hide. But on defense, they're actually pretty awful. A human's only option on defense against a large mammal is intimidation, unless they've got some crazy high-level equipment. But I'll make a video on power creep later. The classic human equipment cannot stop a charging tank main unless the intimidate attempt works. Right. But overall, this matchup is one of the reasons humans became top tier. Hardly any builds have favorable matchups against tanks. But that's not to say humans don't have their counters, though. Right. As I said before, stealth can be really effective against them due to their lack of a keen sense of smell and night vision. Humans have the ability to win pretty much any fight as long as they've got time to prepare. But taken by surprise, humans have a lot fewer options. Another oh, thing shit. humans have trouble dealing with is flight. Even when a human has a ranged weapon, players with high aerial mobility are pretty safe during flight. Now, as far as I know, there aren't any bird builds powerful enough to one-shot humans, which is important because blunt attacks like punches are actually quite effective against birds. Right, okay. Birds have hollow so bones that are resistant to tension well. and torsion, but not compression. Right. This is the opposite of mammal bones, which are resistant to compression and tension, but not torsion. The point is, birds aren't the best choice against humans, but flight has been unlocked by four different classes in the game. Birds, which we just discussed aren't a good choice. Bats, which do even less damage than birds. Reptiles, which unfortunately had their aerial builds banned in patch 1.3.1, and insects. <laughs> Flying eusocial insects have by ooh, far the best ooh, matchup ooh, versus humans ooh, in the ooh, entire game. Ooh. Humans have zero counterplay against a swarm of stinging insects. I mean, sure, there are special items that they can use to combat swarms if they're prepared, but the amount of human mains who've chosen that as one of their prestige abilities is pretty small. Humans' lack of fur means they have no innate defense against stings. Stings also have the chance to proc the Amphalaxis debuff, which can actually lead to a game over. And it's for this Got reason it. that the high score for human eliminations belongs to the Africanized Honeybee, known better by its community-given name, the Killer Bee. People and even if here. the Stings don't proc the allergic reaction effect, they will still definitely achieve their primary goal of dropping their resolve to zero and granting you control over the territory. And we can see that lately, the viability of Killer Bees has only been growing now that they've expanded their territory outside of Africa. Which brings me to my main point. Are humans overpowered? Well, just like the Africanized honeybee, humans really only became OP once they escaped the African server and invaded other areas. Notice how humans took down megafauna across every terrestrial server except Africa. The African tank mains have the matchup experience and counterplay options to deal with the vast array of skills humans have access to. But the rest of the community was totally unprepared to deal with the rapid invasion of new human mains invading their competitive scene. In other words, the devs could have prevented the massive destabilization of the current meta if they'd region locked humans. <laughs> Staying competitive in the meta requires a good player constantly be leveling up their skills. There's no better example of this than the rapid rise to dominance that humans experienced. If you'd like to level up your own skills and unlock new ones, I highly recommend Skillshare. So basically, yes, humans are fucking OP as shit. Even with our lack of fur, strength, I thought, strength and defense, I thought were going to be the two major ones that took humans down. But then he, the way he explained it is really the only thing because intimidation works and sharp tools work so th effectively against tank builds. Uh, there aren't any really flying, real flying threats besides insects. And as pest control, I'll tell you, a couple of good pest control technicians can clear out a human territory pretty efficiently so you know even though it's what now my subclass is 
is a uh, is pest control. It is more than enough. I was handling hundreds of homes single-handedly, like just as a single person. So one fleet of pest control technicians can more than more than uh, easily handle um, any kind of insect threat you have. And even though you might not be prepared at the time, I mean, preparedness is only one phone call away. I'll be there within the day. So, you know, even if people have like infestations of bees and stuff, I could be there in like four hours to go handle it for you and it's done, game over. So, yeah, that's good. I'll see y'all in the next one though. Are humans OP? Hell yeah, we are. We gotta check out the primate list next for sure. Crux, and then crux, uh, drop your suggestions crux, down to know which ones crux, to check out after. I'll see y'all around, man. Peace. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church. Wearing Crocs. I'm always turned. Wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs.